This is Alfred Teacher, and this lesson video is for the 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. There are three target skills that I'm going to do here. One is reading, second is speaking, and third is reading comprehension. So, after we read this, you need to speak this because when we come back to school, you need to memorize this. One by one, individually, you will come to the front of the class and recite this. But don't you worry because teacher will help you read this and hopefully you can memorize this. So let's start. So first, we need to go through some words here. It might be common to you. It might be not common to you, okay? So let's start with the word tree. Everybody say tree. Next, Joyce. Kilmer, this is the name of a person who wrote this poem. So this person is called a poet, okay? So the person who is writing poems like this is called a poet. Everybody, poet, Joyce Kilmer. Everybody, let's say think, think. Think is something in the mind. It's cognitive, okay, meaning in the mind not in the heart. You don't feel think. You think is something in your mind. Next, everybody say never, okay? It's like a big no, never. Next, everybody let's say lovely. Some students say lowly. Just say lovely, all right? Next, let's go, oh, let's have this. Poem, poem. In American accent, they say poem. In the British accent, they say poem. For us Asians to be safe, let's just say poem. That's easier, right? All right. So let's have the word whose. Whose. Okay. It belongs to one person. Don't be confused because we have this word whose. This one means who is. This is whose. Whose. The same pronunciation but different meaning. This one belongs to the person or a thing. Next, hungry. Hungry, when you have no food to eat, you feel hungry. Others say starving. Next, everybody say mouth. When you say mouth, open your mouth big. Mouth, everybody, one last time. Mouth, good job. Next, let's say pressed, pressed. Pressed is to touch something, okay? Like in this poem, the mouth of the tree. Teacher, does a tree have a mouth? Later, I will explain, okay? So the mouth of the tree in this poem touches something. It touches the earth, okay? What's this earth? The soil or the land, okay? Because the tree needs to stand on the land. So let's have a cute drawing. So if this is the land, this is your tree. So, okay, so you see the tree touches the land. Okay, let's make our tree bigger. I hope that's already beautiful for you. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Oh, by the way, this one, this is against, against, okay? Other people say against, it's okay. But generally we say against, all right? Let's say sweet. Try to extend it, prolong a little bit. Do not say sweet, no, sweet. Next, let's have flowing. Everybody, round your lips in the O. Flowing, flowing. Then we say breast, breast, all right? Like a baby that drinks milk from the mother's breast. Okay, next, poems are made. Everybody say fools, fools. Do not say fools, okay? Say fools, like sweet, a little prolonged um, sound. Next, let's say, ah, you know this already, me, okay? And then we can say one, make it very quick, one, one, good. And then you say make, please do, need, do not say make, okay? Say make, okay? So those are the words that we have. I hope you are now ready, okay? So this time, let's go for reading practice. That's the first target, right? Okay, so teacher will read first, then you read after me in your homes, okay? Let's start. Tree by Joyce Kilmer. I think that I shall never see 
a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the sweet earth's flowing breast. Poems are made by fools like me, but only one can make a tree. I think we need to read again because I said sweet earth. It should be earth sweet, okay? So let's read again. It's fine. If you make mistakes, it's fine, okay? So let's do it again. All right, are you ready now? Okay, read after me, okay? Uh, no, teacher will read first, then you practice on your own, okay? Tree by Joyce Kilmer. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast. Poems are made by fools like me, but only one can make a tree. There you go, very good. So we, how many lines do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six lines. But you know, kids, the original poem has 12 lines. But I was thinking maybe the 12 lines is too long for you. So let's have first the six. If you memorize this, then we'll have the second six or the other six parts, okay? So again, the title of the poem is three. Why do I say by when you, did you hear me when I said tree by Joyce Kilmer? Because Joyce Kilmer is the poet or the writer of this poem. That's why after you say tree, you say by. By the way, this is actually a song also, okay? So I will teach you how to sing this, all right? <clears throat> I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast. Poems are made by fools like me, but only one can make a tree. Joyce Kilmer's Trees. I think that I shall never see A poem lovely as a tree A tree whose hungry mouth is So I hope you can memorize this because that's your second task to do. You memorize this, okay? And the third task is to understand the poem. So let's go to these comprehension questions. So what you will do is copy these questions on your notebook. I will check this when we go back to school, okay? So question number one, what is the title of the poem? I will not give you the answer. The answer is already here. All right, so think about this. Title, what's the meaning of title, teacher? I cannot give you the meaning. You search it because if I give you the meaning, you will get the answer. So you have to think, okay? Number two, who is the author or the poet of the poem? Ah, you know already. The poet or the author of the poem. Number three, what part of the tree is meant by mouth? Teacher, what do you mean? So let's go back here, okay? A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed. Mouth here because the tree does not have a mouth. So in this tree, if this is the land or soil, the trunk, the leaves, the roots, what part of the tree touches the soil to get water? Because it says here, earth's sweet flowing breast. So meaning in the earth or the soil, there is water, okay? So what part of the tree gets water from the soil? So you study the parts of the tree, okay? Review your science lessons, then you will know the answer. 
Again, what part of the tree is meant by mouth? Again, this is a poem. Most of the lines here have meanings. Mouth here is just a symbol, okay? To mean that there is one part of the tree that gets water from the soil, all right? So think, think, and think. Number four, okay. For this line, you need to answer for the sixth grade. Answer in three sentences. For the seventh grade, answer in five sentences. And for the eighth grade, answer in eight sentences. <laughs> you can do it, I know you can. Again, sixth grade, three sentences. 7th grade, 5 sentences, 8th grade, 8 sentences. The question is, how important are trees to human life? Why are trees important? Alright, so when I see you, you memorize this one by one in front. Number two, answer all the comprehension questions. And you have to write your sentences about question number four. Okay, so I hope you understood the lesson. I hope you learned something and I'm excited to see you all. Thank you so much.